Hi Sheiksters, hi YouTube, it's Chi Chi from Supple Chic. Hope you guys had an amazing 4th of July. As the title says, this is a vacation lookbook. But before we get into that though, I did want to say hi to all my new news and to those of you who are watching, who are subscribed. Thank you, you made this video possible. Finally, I collaborated with one of my blogger boos, Valerie from Fashion on the Curve. So as soon as you're done watching this video, Go watch hers by clicking the link below. Is it me or are one pieces back in? Let me know in the comments. This first look features this non-matronly monokini from Eloquy. Um, I love the fact that it has this super flattering crisscross detail that kind of brings in your waist. It's also high waist and it, um, it's also cut really flattering around the hips and butt. It comes with adjustable straps and a built-in underwire. I'm wearing a size 18 here and I suggest you size up if you're in between sizes. I love the leaf print and the pink, blue, white, and black on this suit. So I even matched my lipstick to the suit. I'm wearing Riri Boy by MAC. I believe it was a limited edition. Links to everything in that I mentioned in this video will be in the description. And if for any reason it's sold out, I will link something similar. Look Who is all about the jacket. It caught my attention as soon as I saw it on the Torrid site. To make it stand out, I went with an all white base. This is definitely not your standard jacket. It's fully embroidered in the back. If you want that oversized look, I suggest you size up two sizes. I picked mine up in a regular size 18 and it fits true to size. To add interest, as I said, I went with an all white base and I started off with these white jeans from Ashley Stewart. I chose to go with black accessories to add even more contrast. I went with all white because nothing says resort vibes like all white. This YT is an investment piece and it's from a brand that I discovered last year during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I will be doing videos on that sale, so stay tuned for that. But let's get back to talking about the jeans. These white jeans are from Ashley Stewart. As I said, my favorite feature about them is that they come higher in the back and they are cut to nip into the waist. I also love the fact that they come in various inseams, short, regular, and tall. Who says you can't wear all black in the summer? For look three, I went with an off the shoulder top and this gorgeous mesh overlay skirt from Torrid. As soon as I saw it, I knew it had to be mine. Underneath you have a bodycon skirt with this ultra flattering mesh. It skims over your stomach, camouflaging that area. To add a pop of color, I went with these tomato red block heel tie-up sandals. The block heel makes them pretty comfortable and the tie-up makes them very current. By the way, these are real suede and are part of the Torrid Signature Collection. Follow me on Instagram, you already know where we shopped this lookbook. But for those of you who are wondering, I didn't have to go too far. We shot this at the Blockade Runner Resort in Wrightsville, North Carolina. For this look, I went with another Eloquy suit. This one happens to be an off-shoulder style. The color and the print made this a must-have for me. Initially, I was worried about support in this, and then I found out that it comes with a built-in underwire. I sized up, however, I could have gotten my regular size. I only suggest sizing up in this style if you were an E-cup or above. Mm -hmm. 
Another great feature is that it comes with additional detachable straps for even more support. I decided to mix prints and I paired the look with these abstract bottoms from Gamis. Do you guys remember this pink mesh top from my ASOS haul? It will be linked below. Last I checked, it's currently half off. Remember, everything is linked below. I love how airy it is, and I love how the billowy sleeves and bow detail distract from my big arms. It's perfect for the heat. I tucked it into a denim skirt and finished things off with a day clutch and my Zara sandals. For look six, I really wanted to play up the girl factor. Gingham ruffles lend a feminine but vintage vibe. The top in this look is also from Eloquii and it features a built-in underwire and additional removable straps that aren't shown. Just like the other swimsuit, I got in an 18 and could have gotten a 16. I paired the top with this gingham bottom that I have been waiting to debut since I got them two years ago. To complete the vintage vibes, I went with a red lip, the classic from MAC, Ruby Woo. Continuing on the monochrome theme, Look 7 features this romper from ASOS. One of the tips I picked up about packing for vacation is to pick a color. Do you guys want me to do a packing video? Let me know in the comments below. I love how this romper does all the work for you because it has two different prints that mix perfectly well together. I pair the romper with one of my summer must-haves, my Boda hat. This hat is both functional and fashionable. Finally, I finish things off with these fringe tassel tie-up sandals from Macy's, which go up to a size 11. Win! For look eight, we are back to retro vibes again. I saw this swim skirt on the Ashley Stewart website and I was intrigued. The skirt features ruching on the sides and a built-in panty. For a better fit, I suggest going up a size. I'm wearing a size 18. I decided to play up the vintage vibes by pairing the, the skirt with a banded style or bandeau style swim top. I added a visor that I recently picked up from H&M, which I will have linked down below. For look nine, the last look, I went with a statement dress. Something that would be memorable with the colors from your surroundings, perfect for a fancy dinner, and this dress from ASOS was perfect. I got the dress in a size 16 and could have sized down. It's made out of layers of mesh and tulle, so it's very lightweight. It features fluted sleeves and a fit and flare silhouette which is very flattering. It also has inlaid sequins and beads all over the dress. I won't lie, you have to be careful with a dress like this. And you probably won't wear it a million times. But if you want to wear something that's memorable, this is as good as it gets. I paired it with my tie-up sandals from Torrid and I finished things off with a holographic clutch perfect for making a look more formal. Comment down below, let me know which look was your favorite. Are you planning on going on vacation this summer? Where are you going? If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you aren't subscribed and you liked this video, please consider subscribing. And until next time, stay blessed.
is this blouse i'm showing it to you the back way so you can see the details but it has a tie up here a tie down here this blouse is perfect for them hot summer days okay um I